Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You know, <clears throat> I have to tell you, the first time I saw you, you were a lot smaller. I was shorter, a lot, I was, I, I was closer <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> you were? Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Yes, you were, uh, it was, you were so adorable. I never have forgotten that episode that I saw you with uh, Ashley Olsen. Oh, that thank you so much. So sweet. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. And then I'm watching TV, and I, you know, I'm watching this new show, Baby Daddy, and yeah. I'm looking at you, and I'm going, I know this You're like, face. who is this kid? I know him. Yeah. <laughs> it is me. You it get is that I. a lot? <laughs> I do, yeah, I do, I do. Um, especially if people, because if people don't know, you know, who I am, like my, my name and all that, they'll just, mm -hmm. they'll like be staring. It, it can be awkward at sometimes, and it'll just be like, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, like you know what I mean. It just happened to me on Fourth of July, actually, um, and it was all adults. Like the whole day of, you know, because it happens every day, but that whole day of Fourth of July was all middle-aged adults like noticing me and they were just like and I'm like y yes like y hi and they're like where do I know you from you know what I mean and I'm like uh and that's always an awkward question like do I go through my IMDB or like what do I do you know what I mean but it's it's funny though but it's funny how many people like adore the the full house character mm -hmm. well it, it is it is who you are so we all adore you now oh, too, so. thank you so we didn't stop adoring you back oh, then. Oh, thank you. It makes me feel good. So how is it to have two famous older sisters? Yeah. Do they yeah. offer you lots of advice? They, yeah, we actually help each other out, like, a lot. And it's great to actually work with each other. Um, mm -hmm. One of the most fun things I've done was uh, 17 again for Showtime, and they show it on Disney all the time. Uh, but I love working with my sisters, and I did uh, the game with my sister a few times, so um, that was great. But yeah, we definitely feed off each other, and we learn from each other, and we have each other's back. And um, it's funny because uh, we have a younger brother also, but he he's not an actor; he just plays football. But um, okay. he has he no, he wants nothing to do with the with the acting thing because he sees mm. like, no, you guys can do that. I'm good over here. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, we all help each other out. We we both we, we all have each other's backs and we and we're there for each other and we we support each other to the fullest for sure. Mm -hmm. So they don't pick on you. Is that what you're saying? No, but I pick on them all the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see how that goes. Yep, okay. Yep. Younger brother, man, you got to. <laughs> <laughs> but are they very protective of you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, not so much as I am of them, but they're they're very protective. Very protective. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. It's it's good. I feel like that's how it should be, you know? Right. Yeah, no, it should, definitely. Yeah. You need, uh, in show business or in regular life, you, you definitely... Uh, need to be protective of your family. Yeah, definitely. Family is very sure. important. So tell me about your role in Baby Daddy. Yeah. What, what excites you about this role? Oh, everything excites me about this role. Tucker is one of the uh, he I, he's one of the best characters I've ever got the chance gotten the chance to play. Um, mm -hmm. it, especially with it being a sitcom, it allows me to really have fun with the character and, and bring him to life even more and add a little bit of myself to him, w which is, you know, it is so fun. And, and uh, our director and our creator, they really allow me to, um, you know, have fun with it and really add my own flair every now and then. And it's cool because as an actor, you feel like they trust you, you know, with their character, which means the world. Um, because, you know, you, you, you want to you wanna do this character and be this character as, as well as you can, and you want it to be believable. But I, I love how outspoken and how energetic Tucker is and how he has no filter and how he says what's on his mind, even if it's inappropriate, um, because that's so not me. You know what I mean? I, I like to think before I speak, and Tucker does not. So it's very fun for me to go to set and just say these things especially to uh Derek's character um Danny because you know it's he's 
this six eight guy on you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and mm-hmm. Tucker's just like, Yo man, don't touch my food. You know what I mean? Like right, I would right. never go up to a guy that large and say, Hey, don't touch my food. Like, are you kidding me? I want my life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> right. so I think it's great because Tucker just he doesn't care, man. And and I also love him because he's just a great friend to Ben. You know what I mean? Um he he may not be listening as well as he's supposed to or may not say the right thing at the right time, but in reality, he's there for his friend Ben, and um, y- you know he wants the best for him, and and he and he's a really good friend. That's that's definitely a great role yeah. to be in. So, how much experience did you have with babies before this role? Well, actually, the uh, the the castmates like to think I cheated a little bit because uh, <laughs> you know I have a, a nephew, a one year old nephew, because Tia had uh. a son. So, um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of practice actually before the role. So I feel like, uh, but I feel like I needed that because Tucker's always getting into trouble with the babies getting spit up on, thrown mm-hmm. up on. Um, there's an episode where he just gets decked in baby food, man. And it <laughs> is just so funny. And, uh, but that's Tucker. That's what happens to Tucker. But I feel like I definitely needed that experience, spe- especially, um, you know, doing a show with a baby. Uh, every episode because you got to be on your toes we like to jump around in scenes a lot because you know the babies run things on set they're the bosses really and uh there's 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 twins so um we like to switch them in and out if need be but uh one of them likes to take more of the shine than the other (laughs) but uh i think that's cute but yeah it definitely helped out having a having a nephew you know you gotta know how to hold the baby and make it feel safe and all while still acting like awkward because like my character is not supposed to know how to deal with the baby that well you know what i mean so it it, 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 it's it's a little bit of a challenge but you know i I think i got it down now though oh awesome awesome well i i have to say it's been fun watching how you interact with the characters and also with the baby what are the challenging parts of uh, being on that set um the challenging part is just being able to um, stay in the scene and and be true to your character in the scene. Meanwhile, make uh, l- letting the baby feel comfortable. Um, and possibly the hardest thing to do is, like I said, when you're s- when you're supposed to be acting awkward with the baby, like holding it like weird. You know, babies mm-hmm. don't like that. So y- you have to sort right. of act it out, but sort of make the baby feel comfortable at the same time. And in between takes, you know, get back to the normal baby holding and play with the baby and let her know that, you know, you're there for her and that you really do love her and you're not scared. You know what I mean? Because babies, mm-hmm. babies sense fear, man. And they'll right. be looking at, she'll be looking at you like, what are you doing? Put, give me back to my mom. You know what I mean? But um, so that's possibly that's the most challenging part in just staying in the scene because, you know, sometimes we can't cut uh, like, you know, in a normal show because you know, we don't have the babies for that long. Um, so sure. we have them for that like a, a few hours right. of the, d- we have them for a few hours in the day. So you got to make sure you're on, on your game and that you know your lines because it's not about you right now. It's about getting this shot with the baby in it. So <laughs> you got to stay on your toes. It may look like fun to us, but it is definitely work. It's work. It is fun though. It is very fun. Cause I love babies, but it's definitely not, it's not the easiest thing for sure. So what other things are you working on? Um, definitely, I, I, um, I sing, so I'm trying to uh, make sure I give myself some time to uh, get in the studio soon when we're not doing the show to uh, put out an album because it seems like the fans are really have been waiting for that for a while. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, definitely some movies in the, in the upcoming future for sure when we're not working. But Baby Daddy is definitely the most important thing right now. Wow. Well, you and I have something in common. Oh, do we? We do. I'm from Miami. No way. My parents are and both my from Miami. And my father was a policeman. What? Wow. Yes. Yeah, both my but parents. My father was a policeman in Miami, not California. Oh, okay, yeah. Both my parents are uh, are from Miami. They're high school right. sweethearts. They went to Palmetto High School. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still kicking. They're going strong. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, and I said, oh, we have something in common, which is, so, you know, so, so such awesome. a small world. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, awesome. Yeah, so, I love Miami. So sing, dance. What are what's the what's in your bucket list of things you want to do? Oh man, definitely put out an album. Uh, mm-hmm. Go on tour. That's one of my like biggest like dreams to do. Um, 
uh, and just work with some of my favorite actors, you know what I mean? I'd love to work with Will Smith, you know, I, I got a long bucket list, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do that. I want to go skydiving, too. <laughs> no. I'm not sure. Uh, how, I'm not sure how the how my uh, my creator of the show will feel about that. But uh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. The insurance people don't like to hear that. Yeah, kind they of get stuff. mad at me because I have tattoos, so they're like, no more. <laughs> right, that makeup, trying to make it putting yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. They hate me for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, nothing on your neck, please. No neck. That that's so trashy to me, anyway. <laughs> Sometimes so, it looks good, um, but not on me. Right. It was so great to talk to you. I know we have uh, times up, but thanks, and we wish you continued success. Thank you so and much, sisters Stephanie. Too. You guys are awesome. Thank you. It was, a, it was a pleasure talking with you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.